Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Acts chapter 20, beginning at verse 17 and ending at verse 38. This is the Amplified Version. Farewell to Ephesus. However, from Miletus, he sent word to Ephesus and summoned the elders of the church to meet him there. And when they arrived, he said to them, You know well how I lived when I was with you from the first day that I set foot in Asia until now, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears and trials, which came on me because of the plots of the Jews against me. You know how I did not shrink back in fear from telling you anything that was for your benefit or from teaching you in public meetings and from house to house, solemnly and wholeheartedly, testifying to both Jews and Greeks, urging them to turn in repentance to God and to have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. And now compelled by the Spirit and obligated by my convictions, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit solemnly and emphatically affirms to me in city after city that imprisonment and suffering await me. But I do not consider my life as something of value or dear to me, so that I may with joy finish my course and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify faithfully of the good news of God's precious undeserved grace, which makes us free of the guilt of sin and grants us eternal life. And now listen carefully. I know that none of you among whom I went about preaching the kingdom will see me again. For that reason, I testify to you on this, our parting day, that I am innocent of the blood of all the people. For I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose and plan of God. Take care and be on guard for yourselves and for the whole flock over which the Holy Spirit has appointed you as overseers to shepherd, tend, feed, guide the church of God, which he brought with his own blood. I know that after I am gone, false teachers like ferocious wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. Even from among your own selves, men will arise, speaking perverse and distorted things to draw away the disciples after themselves as their followers. Therefore, be continually alert, remembering that for three years, night or day, I did not stop admonishing and advising each one of you with tears. And now I commend you to God, placing you in his protective, loving care. And I commend you to the word of his grace, the counsel and promises of his unmerited favor. His grace is able to build you up and give you the rightful inheritance among all those who are sanctified, that is, among those who are set apart for God's purpose, all believers. I had no desire for anyone's silver or gold or expensive clothes. You know personally that these hands ministered to my own needs working in manual labor and to those of the people who were with me in everything i showed you by example that by working hard in this way you must help the weak and remember the words of the lord jesus that he himself said it is more blessed and brings greater joy to give than to receive when he had said these things he knelt down and prayed with them all and they began to weep openly and threw their arms around Paul's neck and repeatedly kissed him, grieving and distressed, especially over the word which he had spoken, that they would not see him again, and they accompanied him to the ship. The end. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.